Would you say this? Here, Brewing Company here. Welcome to my beer library, where I do beer reviews. This is my wife. She also has a segment on my beer channel called Wife Tries. Today, we're gonna to be trying this. This is Founders, uh, is the name of the brewery, and this is the amazing Cosmeki's highly acclaimed KBS, a flavored stout espresso. This is ale brewed with chocolate and coffee aged in oak bourbon barrels. This is part of their uh, barrel aged um, series, and we're gonna be giving this a go. This, I was trying to see it. KBS gets its coffee fix in a very variant to come from our beloved bourbon barrel aged out. Yes, KBS may already be brewed with coffee, coffee, but it gets some extra oomph when it's aged with espresso beans mm -hmm. after being removed from the barrels. The result is a fresh and snappy coffee twist on our classic barrel aged beer. Who says you can start you can't start your day with barrel aged stout. <laughs> I'm not gonna start my day with it, oh, but yeah. I'm really excited to try this. Oh, we're I gonna really, end. Really this like is a uh, Brewers, uh, Founders Brewing Company, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Twelve mm. percent. I, like I like chocolate. She likes me. I do like him. <laughs> Wear my grounds for pleasure hat because uh, we're doing a coffee beer. I like it. Get a little inside. You got a little, uh, I like the caps. Anyways, um, so how are you expecting this is going to look like and taste? I think it's going to be very dark and probably mm -hmm. kind of thick would be my guess. What would so, be the taste though? What uh, do you think it's going to taste um, like? I think chocolate oh, yeah. coffee beer. That looks very dark. Actually, it kind of is carbonated pretty carbonated yeah pretty carbonated and oh i smell a chocolate already so this right here was purchased at miami valley wine and spirits which is in tip city uh ohio go check them out really cool organization shout out to them yes that was a shout, shout out, out to them that was a shout out Ready? they are really good about helping yeah. you find different things and make suggestions yeah. based on some things that you've liked in the past or that kind of thing so they are very it's a great business the best beer store around yeah miami valley wine and spirits tip city ohio the best city around all right cheers woman cheers tina got me this shirt too hope you like it it's very are we aromatic you can if you want it's very ar aromatic uh coffee like a dry powdered coffee Oh, scent. that's not that's not a good scent. Nobody likes dried powdered coffee. Nobody. Not coffee. Sorry, that's what dried powdered chocolate scent. So it's a weird flavor. Yeah. It's almost like that. Um, the uh, like a cold brew that has that nitro, nitro stuff. In. Nitro cold brew. That's yeah. what it tastes like. It has that in there, really but then you got like, a thick, you thick the bourbon barrel aftertaste kind of burns a little bit back here, you know. Mm -hmm. It does. It does kind of give you that. Sometimes when you take a the burn. taste of espresso, it's like that bitter. I don't know about that, but I do. I know about the beer. Well, I know about the espresso, so together with our powers combined. Anyways, so what do you think of it though? Um, I don't hate it. I don't. I don't hate it. I couldn't probably drink more than half of one, but this is probably one of my favorites that we've tried. Yeah, it has a very it, the the taste profile is not overpowering. It doesn't taste like a beer mm -hmm. because of the bourbon barrel, so I think it has more of the the. The whiskey aftertones rather than a beer aftertones. Um, the bourbon aftertones rather than uh, um, the beer aftertones. So you don't really get a beer taste. With the other ones we've tried, you do get a, more of a beer taste. Yeah, you do get a, more of a beer taste with the other one. But you do still get a beer taste. Like, I don't, oh, yeah. I don't enjoy the flavor of beer, and that's what I don't like about this. But it does kind of burn um, afterwards, <sighs> like... 
a weak shot of something. Wood. So like a bourbon. Never had that. Anyways, so we'll give this a score. Mm -hmm. Zero to ten. Yep. So zero being like muddy water mm -hmm. and ten being like the best espresso flavored stout out there. Okay. That has ever been invented. Okay. Well, since this is the only one I've ever tried. The best <laughs> drink out there. Okay. I would I would actually give this probably I'd give this a seven. This is probably the best beer we've tried yet that I would actually, mm. I, would, I could probably drink about half of one of these. It's pretty good. It's way better than usual. Yeah. Um, I would give this probably a nine out of ten. Yeah. So I think it has all the flavors that I'd be seeking if I was to go after a flavored stout. Mm. Um. I'll say the, the four packs of these and any other bourbon barrels is going to be a little pricey. So if you're a price conscious person, don't. Um, you're not going to want a, a flavored porter or stout anyway because you're going to want a bush light. But the, but, the, bush. <laughs> but the difference between this and bush light is light years. Yeah, I mean, these are polar opposites yeah. from that bush latte to this... Um, flavored stout espresso stout that's polar opposites however so just imagine just just keep this in mind if you drink one of these it's like drinking two bush lights mm, which probably also is my so you i could drink about half of one so when you buy a four pack you're actually buying like eight pack yeah. i mean if you think about well, it like that you break it down that way yeah, if you think about it like that it's worth it yeah okay totally. join us next time as we try a different beer go check out miami valley wine and spirits in tip city shout out yeah all right, and also Grounds for Pleasure Coffee Shop. Good the espresso. best coffee and espresso in town, in the world, actually. All right, thanks. Like, subscribe, share the video, share the channel. That's how this channel grows. And leave a comment. All right, thanks and bye.